Yeah. Uh, sorry for that. So, um, uh, welcome everyone. And uh, uh, a small housekeeping announcement. So, you can, uh, if you have any question, you can ask me in the QA window and we will happy to answer your question as much as possible. And then uh, you can get this PPT and then uh, the uh, video of this presentation. So, in a mail. So, yeah, in a later on, you can go through that. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me anytime with our email address. So, and also you have to show the, the giveaways. I am I, make sure I'm sure about it. You are excited about the giveaways. Uh, so uh, we are, uh, please stay with the end. Uh, end. Uh, so you can get to know about that uh, details. So we will have a quiz on that. So we, Please make sure to uh, concentrate, concentrate with the, uh, the topic uh, we are te teaching. So um, we, uh, the question came from that related topic. So please be aware about that and we will start. So first of all, I will welcome uh, my mentor and the person uh, who are having the Gold, Gold MLSs and the Microsoft Innovative Education Expert and the Microsoft Certified Trainer. None other than that, the Mohammed Sas bin Sakaria. So, uh, sorry for that, the pronunciation. So, it sounds some, a little bit hard for me. And then, so please welcome and over to you. Yeah, I All will right. stop sharing my screen. Okay, thank you, Kapila. And let me try to share my screen first. Uh, okay. So can any of you guys confirm that you can see my screen? Yeah, I can see you, yeah. All right, sure. OK, so um, let me, OK, so uh, hi, guys. I am very, very happy to be invited here. I want to express my thanks and appreciations to Kapilan uh, because we have been working together these few months uh, in order to make this event uh, successful, right? Uh, so today I am going to present a little bit about Microsoft Power Platform. So who here have any experiences or have heard what Microsoft Power Platform is? What Microsoft Power Platform is? So I would like to see the the comments in the chat sections. Um, whether have you ever heard of of uh, Microsoft Power Platforms in general before? Uh, and or maybe you can come off mute. Uh, to briefly explain yourself, like explain what have you heard or what have you worked on with Microsoft Power Platform. Does any one of you have the experiences or the knowledge of Microsoft Power Platform before? I take it uh, you don't have any experiences or uh, any knowledge of Microsoft Power Platform before, right? So, okay, it's fine. It's okay if you don't have any um, you know, knowledge or any experiences working Microsoft, with Microsoft Power Platform. So uh, today I am going to present about it and uh, it's just the easiest stuff, the fundamental stuff and all right. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, you can uh, definitely uh, ask me in the chat sections, all right? Or probably you can come off mute. And then um, I will be uh, giving out this uh, slide at the end of the uh, at the end of the event, um, so you guys can do some self revision later on, right? Okay, so uh, my name is Muhammad Suzaril Shah bin Zakaria. I know my name is very very hard to pronounce. Kapilan uh, might have struggled with it uh, previously, <laughs> but yeah, for for short, you can call me Suzaril or you can call, you can call me Shah, right? So I am a Microsoft certified trainer. Uh, it's been three years since I became Microsoft certified trainer. Uh, I am also Microsoft innovative educator expert. Uh, since 2021, I am a Microsoft Certified Educator. I know these titles are are quite long and it's it's quite redundant in first place, right? But yeah, believe me, I get all of these uh, titles in the program, right? Back when I was a still a student, I, I'm still a student. I'm a master's degree student at University of Kuala Lumpur, uh, studying a master's in uh, electrical and electronics engineering in IoT and cloud. Uh, but yeah, uh, when I was still a bachelor's student, a bachelor's degree student, I gained all of this title by myself, right? Uh, and then 
you might uh, you might be wondering what are all of these badges, right? So these badges is basically all of the certifications and recognitions that I got from Microsoft. Uh, some of it, uh, I, I got some of it by passing the exam from Microsoft, right? And uh, yeah, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, I'm very passionate in learning about technology, right? I am passionate to learn about Azure Cloud, Microsoft Cloud Platform, Microsoft 365. And uh, yeah, I am a, a gold Microsoft Lens ambassador. I will, I will, um, you know, let you know, let you guys know uh, what are the milestones in Microsoft Lens ambassador, right? So right now, Kapilan is in beta uh, milestone. I myself, I am at the gold milestone, which is the highest milestone at Microsoft Lens ambassador. Um, I also have a full time job um, juggling with my master's study, right? I work at Docker. You, have any of you guys know Docker before? Right, so Docker is basically uh, based in the US. Uh, I work at Docker as support engineer. So if let's say if, uh, if, if you guys want to uh, ask me any questions regarding Docker, feel free to ask me uh, in this uh, chat as well. All right, um, and I can certainly say that Microsoft Lens Ambassador has helped me uh, to get the career that I want in the first place, right? Uh, okay, so if you guys want to uh, connect with me later on, you can connect with me uh, on LinkedIn. You can just Google my name. You, you can just search my name. You can just uh, go to my Instagram page, which is at SZRLSH, -S and uh, you can basically uh, look uh, my website. You can have a look at my website to see what uh, the achievements that I have already uh, achieved. In, the, in this past few years. All right, so what is, uh, I mean, before I get into the topics, I would like to, um, you know, briefly uh, tell you guys what is MLSA, what MLSA program is. So Microsoft Lens Ambassador program is basically uh, a student leaders where they become an advocate for Microsoft technologies and products, right? Uh, in short, it's just Microsoft. Uh, it's just like students advocating for Microsoft technologies and products in the student community. Community, right? Uh, but if you want to learn about the definitions of what Microsoft Lens and Ambassador is, you can read <laughs> in the slide, right? It's, it's it, it is a global group of campus leaders who are eager to help uh, fellow students create robust tech communities and develop technical and career skills for the future, right? Uh, this program encourages leader, uh, student leaders um, to like develop their student communities. All right, as much as they gain a lot in this program, they will also need, they are also expected to grow their student community, right? If you want to know more about this event, uh, this program, you can just uh, scan the QR code or you can just like uh, type in uh, this URL, right? Okay, so. Um, Enough of me talking about Microsoft Lens and Ambassador's definition, right? So what are the, the benefits in becoming Microsoft Lens and Ambassador, right? We, we have a milestone system where we want the students, we want the participants of the program uh, to contribute more, right? So we have four milestones, which is the new student ambassador, uh, alpha, Microsoft Microsoft ambassador, beta, and gold, Microsoft Lens ambassador, right? When you became an alpha Microsoft Lens ambassador, you will get Azure credits for 150 US dollars. So you can work on your projects, you can work on your FYP, you can work on your coding solutions, you can, ho you can even host your website, right? I use Azure to host my websites. So I know that this is very, very helpful for me to, um, you know, the gain tractions towards my future employers, right? And then you will get Visual Studio Enterprise subscriptions. Imagine you get a lot of Microsoft products and services all for free. You can basically use utilize this um, as uh, part of your uh, FYP. You can basically complement uh, the benefits that you get from this program, from this milestone uh, with the current project that you are working on. Right, and then you will get the studentambassadors.com email addresses paired with Microsoft 360, the Microsoft 365 Office subscriptions. Right, so you don't need to like subscribe to Microsoft uh, Word or Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. You don't need to buy any of those, uh, you know, products. 
right? And then you get event workshop kits, you get uh, like program badge, program assets, uh, you get email signature, uh, you will get uh, email templates from Microsoft. It's very beautiful. It's really, uh, I mean, Microsoft has been committed to help the students to uh, market their events and programs uh, through the assets that they have given to us. Right, and then lastly, uh, they got incentive for event attendees. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Kapilan just mentioned earlier, uh, whoever participates in the quiz and answers the uh, answer accurately and fastly, uh, later on in the event, you will get either one year LinkedIn premium subscriptions, or you will get a three, uh, three months Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriptions, right? So you have the rights, you have the autonomy, to pick which one you want, right? So um, in beta milestone, I mean, after you have work on to become an, uh, to become a beta milestone and then you get promoted to the milestone, you will get swags, right? So so anything that you get from alpha milestone, you will get it and you will get swags sent to your home, right? From the US, right? I believe Kapilan is, wor is, is wearing the, the shirt, right? Can you show me the shirt? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah right? right now I am yeah another one but uh, I have a I have the one right so yeah I will show you in a little so I have uh, something like a socks and right now I having the in the this right like the um uh, tag yeah, yeah. with this yeah this means yeah, is, yeah. Is this then and some other goodies right so this this a lot of things are uh, in yeah a lot of yeah. things are there, and yeah, the sticker is a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Microsoft <laughs> has been very generous with giving us swags, right? I myself, I yeah. won this this um, sweater. I won this hoodie, GitHub hoodie, right? So this is uh, part of the um, participations uh, in Microsoft Lens and Ambassador community, right? And then not only that, you will get access to mentorship, you will get access to uh, event support and all, right? And then if you have progressed even further to the program, you have contributed uh, to your community, you have uh, developed uh, like strong commitments towards Microsoft products, uh, sorry, towards Microsoft, uh, you will get promoted to Gold Milestone, right? Uh, so you you have a lot of uh, benefits in joining Gold Microsoft Lens Ambassador. Some of it uh, you 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 gain uh, the initiative to lead uh, some of the opportunities that Microsoft wants to wants you to lead, and then you can participate in pilot programs. You get uh, nominated to become Microsoft MVP. For those who don't know what Microsoft MVP is, MVP is the highest awards that Microsoft can give to a particular person. Right, that contributes more to the community, right? And then you obviously got um, exclusive gold swags, right? In total, right, you get two swag boxes sent to your home from the US, from Microsoft HQ itself, right? So yeah, uh, these are some of the benefits. So these are some of the swags that you will get later on. Like, uh, I mean, <clears throat> on top of these uh, slides, you can you, you can see that uh, we ha I have I have already received the uh, beta swag boxes, which is which includes uh, the what we call it the shirt, uh, Rubik's cube. We have stress ball, physical copy of your certs, of your certificates. Uh, you have a physical card that Microsoft gave to you. Uh, you also get the the thermos, water thermos, um, along with some stickers and socks and all. Right, so you will get this. I mean, you you obviously don't get the iPad, right? So the iPad is mine. <laughs> but yeah, of course, uh, you yeah uh, you get all of these things, all right? And uh, progressing through goals, all right? Uh, progressing to the goal milestone, you will get a backpack from Microsoft, right? Uh, I still have that. I still have that. <laughs> so this is the bag. You can see it, right? It's very nice. It's well built quality, right? Um, and you get you, you get like uh, lanyards, you get uh, what we call it conference like, you you get a, a face mask, so so many swags that you get from Microsoft if you contribute more to the programs, right? All right. So uh, how to be one of us, right? There are two ways of becoming a Microsoft Lens so the ambassador, right? Uh, the first one. Uh, the, the first way to becoming a Microsoft Lens Ambassador is that you can get nominated by us, the Microsoft Lens Ambassadors, 
right? If you have what it takes to become Microsoft LinkedIn ambassador, you have your own community, you are a previous uh, DSC lead, or you are a previous GitHub student ambassador, uh, GitHub uh, campus experts, and you already develop your own expertise in, in some other fields that you are in, um, feel free to reach out to some uh, to to one of us, and we can get you nominated, right? But don't uh, think that if you get nominated, you will get. Uh, I mean, if you get nominated, you you don't you are not necessarily considered to the program, right? It's just like you got a short, uh, you you got short track or, or fast track towards the program, but you you will still need to compete with a few people. Uh, a few competitive people because the, the, the program is highly competitive, right? You will need to compete with some other good people out there, right? That wants to get into the program, right? As the program is more, is highly competitive, so you'll need to, you know, uh, keep up your game, <laughs> right? And then the second method is that you apply on your own, right? You can apply uh, to become a Microsoft Lens Ambassador in. Uh, on our website, sorry, in <laughs> on our website, right? Um, you will need to answer a few questions. I will show you uh, some of the questions later on. Uh, if you have the opportunity to answer to using videos, um, using videos to, I mean, I would prefer all of the applicants to include a video instead of writing an essay. Right, you, you can write an essay for your for the questions that you're asked, right? And then please include a, a video link to it as well, right? That will increase your chances to uh, get accepted to the to the program. Um, and then if you have any other like uh, social platforms, social media platforms, you can include it there. Uh, let's say, for example, if you have LinkedIn, GitHub, Stack Overflow, make sure your social media uh, social media uh, you know, includes your projects or showcasing what you are fighting for as a student, right? So the more you put uh, in the application form, the more your uh, chances to get employed, uh, to, to get impressed by your contributions or your self initiative. Um, yeah, it's I mean, all of the question is basically uh, an AC question. So you will need to like write up some of the motivations. Uh, that uh, so some of the essays, you can write up essays uh, to to include your motivations on why you are applying for this uh, program, right? Okay, so, okay, so, um, yeah, so these are some of the questions asked during MLSA applications, right? Uh, so, yeah, you, you need to, you need to uh, answer all of these questions uh, by yourself, right? Uh, and make sure not to uh, oversimplify your uh, quite uh, your answers, right? Because uh, the reviewers for this for this program they want to know you better. The more you include in uh, the, the the in the application in the application form, the more the reviewer will learn about you guys, right? So make sure you answer all of those questions. Uh, and include as much as possible about yourself, right? There might be a, a, a character limit, all right, in the field, in each of the field of the application form. Uh, but please utilize all of the character uh, all, all of the characters that are available for you uh, to explain a little bit about yourself. Uh, you can explain about uh, what are your visions, what student community that you want to develop and and many more right and you can also include some of the achievements that you have um you have achieved uh to complement your vision right okay so i open uh this session uh to any q a to to uh, question and answers um from the audience to ask me questions about microsoft list ambassador yeah, you can ask me anything about the program and yeah, I'll answer it. I can see there is one uh, chat there. So is there any chance to nominate me? I'm, I've am i failed two times. All right, so if you have failed many times and you still don't get accepted to the program, it's fine, right? You don't get blacklisted. 
you can always uh, apply uh, to the to the program um, as many as you want, right? Uh, but yeah, it's either, I mean, if you want to, I mean, you can reach out to any one of us, like you can reach to Kapilan, you can reach to me to uh, help you or mentor you to answer some of the questions that are asked in uh, the website, right? So yeah, I, I think if you still don't get it, it's fine. It's totally fine. It's totally understandable. Uh, but yeah, please feel free to to uh, reach out to one of us and maybe we can give some insights on how to improve your application uh, processes, right? Uh, but yeah, if you want to, if you want to uh, get nominated by me, I have a few requirements, all right? Uh, the first requirement would be you have you have a significant contributions to your community, right? Because I can't simply nominate other people, right? I need to I need that people I need that person to have a significant contributions to their community, right? And then I'll need to see their initiatives in learning new technology, right? Like let's say for example, if you have a certification, certification is one big advantages. Uh, if you have uh, some, uh, you have projects or codes that you can showcase to me, we can uh, do a one on one session and uh, I can definitely mentor you uh, to become a Microsoft Lisbon ambassador once you get accepted. Right. And I, I will definitely nominate you uh, to the program. So. Does that answer your question, uh, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you. No worries. no worries. So any more questions from the members of the floor? OK, so Rasindu, am I pronouncing your name correctly? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, okay. I have one question. Uh, sorry, I was a bit late. Uh, so no uh, what I need to know is uh, I'm from the Cine campus uh, mm -hmm. from Malaga. And then there are no student ambassadors in our campus. So uh, I am almost graduate. Uh, I'm finishing my degree in this year. So uh, I need uh, some of my juniors to be a student ambassador. And uh, how we can do that? Uh, All right, I so need, you I are to yeah. connect our campus uh, and get the Microsoft uh, student programs to our campus. That's great. I mean, that's fine. All right. So um, if you have like, uh, you know, if you have a Microsoft Lens Ambassador community in your country or in your states, you can collaborate with them to um, <clears throat> to uh, promote Microsoft Lens Ambassador program to your university, right? Uh, let's say, for example, if you want to have an in-person event uh, introducing about Microsoft Lens Ambassador, uh, you, you can basically collaborate with them uh, to promote uh, this initiative. But if you don't, if you don't have any community, any Microsoft Lens Ambassador community around your vicinity, around your university or campus. Uh, you can do it yourself, right? You can you can become a Microsoft Lens ambassador uh, yourself, right? For as long as you're not graduated, you are uh, you you can get accepted to Microsoft Lens ambassador program, right? And if let's say for example, if you want to continue your master's degree, you can do so, right? You can continue the program, um, even though you are not a bachelor student. You need to be at least uh, you know participate or be in a full time study, right? Or a part-time study, so it depends on 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 which study mode that you uh, want to uh, enroll at uni uh, at your university. Um, as for encouraging your your uh, you know <clears throat> newer students to be a Microsoft Lens ambassador, you can basically uh, reach out to us. Um, if let's say, for example, if you need us to promote Microsoft Lens Ambassador at your university. I'm happy to do that, right? Uh, but yeah, feel free to reach me uh, or Kapilan uh, so that we can promote Microsoft Lens Ambassador to your uh, university, right? We are happy to do so. Yeah, Kapilan, you need to, to say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in a slip, basically they're having a club, so MS club, right? So there's a Microsoft club, so you can reach out to them. So in a, a Sri Lanka, they're having a 
separate community as well. So basically, the uh, the each university having a separate club. So may, uh, not all of them, but uh, some of them are having a club. So in a, a, I know basically the slit having a um, MS club. So basically, yeah, they are some sort of uh, ambassadors also. They are in a slit. So basically, if you want to, if you don't know about them, so please. I will uh, reach out them, so maybe you can get later on their contacts. So uh, 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 in the slip, they are having a club and the ambassadors also there. Yeah, as my. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, so, yeah there, there, there are so many uh, opportunities. There are so many initiatives that you can do to encourage uh, the new students to join the Microsoft Lens Ambassador. And one of it is to reach out to some of your local chapters uh at your university nearer to your university or probably Kapilan will reach out to them and and ask them to collaborate with you later on All right resin resin do i'm mistaken yeah thank you yeah no worries no worries does that answer your question resin do yes yes no worries no worries thank you uh, all right, so we have some question in the chat. Uh, how can we join and uh, how we can join as ambassadors of Microsoft Student Ambassador Program? Okay, so I am sure that you are you joined late just now, right? But it's it's okay. I'm going to like uh, walk through again uh, some of the processes that you can uh, you know you can do to become a Microsoft Student Ambassador, right? So there are uh, basically two uh, ways of becoming a Microsoft Student Ambassador. The first one, you can get nominated by us, right? Uh, some of the criteria uh, that that I, uh, if let's say for example, if you guys want me to nominate you guys, uh, I will need to see your uh, contributions to your community. You will, you will need to have at least uh, one community that you are leading. And then uh, I want to see your initiatives in uh, developing yourself uh, as a student, right? Uh, I want to see your initiative in certifications or uh, let's say for example, if you have any uh, projects that you're working on, uh, I would like to see that. And uh, if if okay. you are the person that I want to nominate, then I will nominate you as a student ambassador myself, right? Uh, and if let's say for example, if you don't get nominated by other student ambassadors and you would like to apply yourself, uh, you can basically go to the website, all right, at studentambassadors.microsoft.com and answer a few questions and you can complete the application processes um, in the website, right? Okay, so these are some of the questions that are asked during the MLSA uh, application uh, processes, right? So, so you can have a look at these questions. Uh, you can create an account, um, have a look at these questions and complete it before the next cohort uh, begin, right? Okay, so uh, do I, I mean, does that answer your question, Mahsum? I think I already yeah, addressed I this. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we have another uh, people, Mithuna. Yeah, feel free to come off unmute. But yeah, mom to the meet. Damn it. Mituna, you are raising your hands. So do you have any questions to ask? <laughs> yeah, Mituna. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, can, can. OK. So what are the questions? I'm sorry, we, we can't hear you. I think you are you... not audible just now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you at this point, but yeah, just just ask your question. I'm sorry, we, you are not really audible. Maybe you can you can uh, type in your questions. Okay, so in the meantime, do you guys have any other questions? I welcome you to answer about this program. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Sir, I already messaged you in my Instagram. Please check it once. I yeah, sure, sure. 
Yeah, sure, sure. All the certifications and the community I lead, please nominate me. All right, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll accept okay. that. Nice. Please check the Instagram. All right, I already checked it. Uh, I will reply to, reply to it later on. I'll just review it later on. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, there is someone who needs to leave, right? Sorry, I need to leave now. Thanks, Captain. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yap. <laughs> All right. Uh, Muhammad, uh, can yep. you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I hear you. Loud and clear. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. when I um, need to join the Student Ambassador Program in Microsoft, so mm -hmm. what are the advantages which can be gained from the program, actually? I just I have joined a little later. So, so actually, I'm looking for that. So uh, currently, I'm uh, working with... Uh, so uh, AI and um, some interesting projects like uh, blockchain technologies, these kind of projects. So when I would like to go with them, uh, our Microsoft program, so is it convenient to make my uh, like my level up, up, upgrade level? So is it possible? Is it possible to? Yeah, actually, uh, what are the main advantages from that uh, student ambassador program? So that's my, right. my first question. And another thing is, uh, what do you mean by the contribution for the community? So, is it uh, uh, related to the ICT sector or either the general? Okay. Uh, let me try to jot down your question first. Okay. So, um, okay. So, the main uh, advantages for me personally, right? So, I gain uh, quite a lot of uh, exposure to Microsoft technology as a Microsoft Lens ambassador, right? And the, the, the program itself gave us quite a lot of uh, options to explore ourselves on how we can contribute to our student community, on how we can advance ourselves um, in, in both in career and both in as a as a presenter myself, right? Um, I was I was very timid previously. Um, I don't dare to speak publicly like this before, right? But over the years, over the time, um, I get used to it, right? And, you know, th this helps me in securing jobs, um, especially the jobs that I have right now. Um, I have a lot of uh, certifications, uh, titles, like recognitions from Microsoft, and that helped me greatly with the career, with my own career. That is that is speaking personally based on my experiences, right? Uh, so yeah, if you want to know more about the, the biggest advantages that Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Program has to offer me before, it was all about my career, about my self uh, development and the development that I contributed to my student community, right? Even right now, I still have the community going on at my university. And I'm proud to say that we have like 400 people uh, are joining the community in that university, right? So that are some of the things that you can brag to your future employer. You can say that, oh, I have um, a student community that I lead at university, right? I have like 400 people joining in the community. I also have uh, many certifications from Microsoft. I have recognitions from Microsoft. I am a Microsoft Lens Ambassador, right? When I told these things to the interviewers, they were quite flabbergasted. They were quite, uh, you know, interested in hiring me. And hence, I got the job that I am, uh, that I have right now, right? Um, as for the contributions uh, to, I mean, as for the uh, second questions, the contributions to your uh, society, uh, I mean, society or community is that you need to have uh, like uh, you, you need to lead any society or group or IT group um, at your student community, right? Or your local chapter. If you have any uh, develop, sorry, if you have any community that you lead, then feel free to uh, let me know, and I will have a look at that. And uh, you don't only lead the community; you will need to contribute to the community. Let's say, for example, if you have uh, you you have uh, conducted an event before. Uh, you can basically, um, you know, highlight those achievements, those contributions to your community. It's it can be any contributions. I want to have a look at it, and if you are okay, if if you are the person that I want to 
uh, nominate, then I will definitely nominate you to the program. Does that answer your question just now? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's OK. Uh, I got the idea about it, yeah. If I have a yeah. question, I will answer. Yeah. Yeah, and yep. also I won't add uh, some points. So in here, uh, uh, in a Sri Lanka context, we have a, one of the MVPs at Copeland. So I would like to invite for him to, if you have any questions regarding the join the, uh, like uh, the uh, MB, so uh, Microsoft Ambassador program in the clubs and the university. So he will be give some brief about. So if you have some of them are not sure about the Sri Lankan context, how they can join, how they think it is like. So if you like to, uh, you can reach out to Copeland. So he, uh, he, he, he will be in the chat. So you can reach out to him as well. So if you like, so uh, would you like to say something about that? Yeah, please uh, come off our mute, sir. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, Kapil, and thanks. Apart from the uh, student ambassadors and other things, in Microsoft, they are, they are having several recognition and there are several uh, programs, such as uh, Founder Club or MVP, as Mohammed said. Uh, there are a few other recognitions as well. So uh, in Sri Lanka here, we are having several communities like uh, Sri Lanka data, data community, Sri Lanka developer forum, Sri Lanka power BI, and so many things. Uh, so many B, B, MVPs and student ambassadors from all universities all over Sri Lanka, uh, they are joining with us. Uh, we are having <clears throat> monthly meetings like hybrid meetings. Uh, if the situation goes well, we are having in-person event and uh, if the situation like COVID or any pandemic, we are having online events. So, so many MVPs are helping us to uh, grow our career or student life, whatever the thing. So, you can join with us. Uh, if you uh, maybe I can share the links. We are, we are having that links, uh, Facebook, uh, Meetup, uh, and LinkedIn links as well. Uh, let me share those links. Or else you can reach me out or Kapilan note some uh, group names, right? Kapilan, you can share uh, with them. Uh, we are having monthly meetings uh, in person and the hybrid meetings in person and virtual meetings. Uh, so you can, you, you know how to grow up. So Mituna has asked uh, if she's in the industry, how, uh, she, how these programs help uh, her. Likely ambassador program, and if if we if you look up the Microsoft Startup Hub uh, founders program, they are giving almost five. Uh, I'm not sure five thousand US dollars, uh, like Azure credits. So you can test it up and pre LinkedIn Premium, Power BI uh, licenses, and Microsoft 365 license. So you can research something, or you can up to a. Uh, Industry level, you can you can perform something. So if you have a proper idea and proper uh, proper things, what you what you are doing to uh, change or uh, make your ideas into a powerful solution, Microsoft is here to help you. And <clears throat> apart from that, there are several uh, conferences, 365 conference, Power VA conference all over the world. Uh, so they are. <clears throat> if you go to some Call for just just search call for speakers uh, in the Google or Bing. Uh, you will get most of them are from Microsoft events 365 or Microsoft Power Platform event. So <clears throat> there are so many platforms. Uh, even in Sri Lanka, we are running uh, monthly basis uh, events like in first of first of each week we are having data community of second week we are having developer from meetup in third we are having power bi community likewise we are having a lot of things with swags and so many so many goodies so you can join with us if you are if you are interested i mean linkedin you can join me or you can reach out to how to join and how to become a community leader without studying and uh, working in the industry field that's good if you somehow share your knowledge with a community and if you uh, become a community leader that should be a perfect thing in your life to become a very good uh, ambassador. So that's all. Uh, maybe in the next few minutes, I will share the links through the chat. 
uh, I have to search it. I just get up and <laughs> I am listening to more mod. <laughs> so let me share or else uh, maybe I, I will share with Kapilam. He will share with you. Thanks. Thanks. Right, thank yeah, you. Sure. Yeah, and also I will uh, thank for him because he is uh, one of the MVP from the Sri Lanka and uh, I met him to the uh, Microsoft Ignite in uh, Microsoft Sri Lanka. So it's a, a great pleasure to have you here and joining the meeting. And thank you, Anna, and thank you. And over to you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Kapilan. Thank you so much, Kohulan, as well, uh, for the brief uh, introduction just now. I, I, I mean, I don't know that you guys have uh, so many uh, communities around going on on Sri Lanka as in Malaysia we have uh, so many com we have not so many communities but we have a few MVPs uh, working solo or as a lone wolf but it's okay it's fine uh, but yeah we are we are just uh, you know improving the community we we want to be able to contribute as much as possible to the community as well to empower these guys to achieve more Right. OK, so yeah, uh, I take it that we don't have any more questions from the members of the floor because Gohulan have uh, answered some of the questions. Right. So let's move on to the next uh, agenda, right, which is the uh, Power Platform Fundamental. So today uh, I'm just going to like present uh, the fundamental parts of Microsoft Power Platform because after this Kapilan is going to like showing you how the Microsoft Power, uh, some of the components of the Power Platform um, in, in, in general, right? So yeah, I will be presenting myself first <laughs> as part of the introductions for the Microsoft Power Platform, right? So uh, what you will learn today, you will learn about uh, some of the components that are in Microsoft Power Platform, right? You will also have uh, the chances to have a look at what data connectors is, uh, what uh, Microsoft Dataverse is, and so many things in Microsoft Power Platform, right? So, um, yeah, let's go to right into the topics itself, right? So, thank you, Gohulan, for sharing the link to your uh, to the Sri Lanka community. Uh, but yeah, you can have uh, a chat with him later on, right? So, yeah. So Microsoft Power Platform is basically uh, solutions, right? A Microsoft solutions to a low code platforms that spans Office 365, Azure, Dynamics 365, and standalone applications. So basically, if you um, are part of the Office 365 subscriptions or tenants, or probably you are part of the Azure um, tenants or Dynamics 365 tenants, or any other Microsoft products that are in this list, uh, you can basically create a solutions, right? A low code to no code solutions uh, to uh, develop your solutions, right? Uh, based on the, uh, you know, based on the, uh, I'm sorry, I just have a few, I'm sorry, I, I'll, I'll be right back uh, in one minute. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have some other technical issues in my uh, Mac. Uh, thank you so much for, for waiting. All right, so uh, I'm sorry for, for, for that. Uh, but yeah, Microsoft Power Platform is basically a low code platform that spans uh, the Microsoft uh, products that are listed here and uh, the standard application. Let's say, for example, if you want to uh, create an automations, right? You can use Microsoft Power Automate to do that, right? Without having to code or probably using a little little bits of code uh, to facilitate your solutions, right? So there are a few uh, Microsoft Power Platform components such as uh, Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Power Apps, Microsoft Power Automate, Microsoft Virtual Agents, and the last one we have, uh, the, the, one, the, the latest one that we have uh, for Microsoft Power Platform components is Microsoft Power Pages, right? So for Power BI, uh, you can do uh, business analytics or data analytics uh, and you, you just need a set of data and you can like, uh, you know, put it in Power BI and you basically have a data visualization tools or probably a business analytics tools, right, without having to code anything, right? Um, as of right now, we have a few um, data 
uh, related uh, jobs, right? So we have like data scientists and analysts, right? Those people needs to learn how to code in order to do like data manipulations and uh, data visualizations and probably like doing data with AI, right? Uh, but with Power BI, you just need to have a little bit of knowledge about uh, coding and you are good to go with uh, developing your own solutions to its uh, data visual visualizations or data analytics, right? Uh, as for Power Apps, Kaplan will be uh, explaining more about this later on, right? So it's basically uh, a platform for you to build applications, right? With low code or no code. Imagine you can create um, an applications without having to code or without having uh, the extensive knowledge of coding in the first place, right? So it's a wonderful opportunity uh, by using Microsoft uh, technology, right? And then if you want to create like a, I don't know what we call it, uh, automation processes, right? Uh, let's say for example, if uh, we want to, we want to like, uh, we, I can think of one use cases if I'm dealing with Microsoft Automate, right? Let's say if, when, when we are doing the, the uh, event registration, right, we do collect your, uh, details in the Microsoft Forms, right? So this Microsoft uh, form includes a few data, a few text fields, right? So these text fields are considered data, right? Unprocessed data, right? So uh, this data, all right, can be sent, uh, can be included in Microsoft Power Automate and Power Automate. But let's say, for example, if, if let's say, for example, if we want to send an email address, a personalized email addresses to each one of the registrants of these particular events, we can use Power Automate to do so, right? We can take the data from uh, the Microsoft Forms and then process it in Microsoft Power Automate to generate an email to each individuals that have already registered for this event. We can do that basically, right? Without having human intervention, right? And imagine you can just do that by creating, uh, sorry, you can just do that by dragging and drop um, connectors, actions, triggers in the Microsoft Power Platform itself, in the Microsoft Power Automate itself, right? And then we have uh, Power Virtual Agents is, uh, that is basic, I mean, I mean you can uh, create uh, chatbots from scratch, or probably you can do it uh, via templates that Microsoft has given us, right? And uh, the things that complements uh, this component is data connectors. Obviously, if you need to have, uh, if you need to develop a solutions, right, you need to have data, right? And you need to have a data connectors to it, right? And then you, you have uh, AI builders, we have Dataverse, uh, and yeah, all of these things are existing in Microsoft Power Platform, right? And the latest one we have Microsoft Power Page. So Microsoft Power Page is basically, uh, <coughs> have you ever heard of Wix before? I am a, I'm a freelancer website developer before, right? Uh, fo mainly focusing on uh, front end, right? So I basically like look at Wix, right? This, this website generator, website designer, uh, tools online, right? To have an inspirations on what I'm going to include in my website, right? Uh, so imagine you don't need to like code using your website. You just need to use the Power, uh, power Page uh, platform to generate your own website for resume purposes or something like that, right? Okay, so um, this is what Kapilan will, uh, Kapilan will be uh, focusing on this uh, topic later on, right? So but I'm just gonna uh, explain a little bit of how Power Apps is, right? So in Power Apps, we have uh, Canvas apps, we have model-driven apps, and uh, yeah, Kapilan, you, you will take over after this. Uh, but yeah, you can create your applications, all right, and sync it across platform, right? Imagine you don't have to code your website or you, you probably need to at least know a little bit code or probably implement a little chunk of code into your solutions, right? And you can uh, let it, I mean, you can uh, make it available uh, to, uh, to other platforms as well, right? You can like uh, develop an applications um, and have it available to other platforms such as uh, MacBook, or probably you can uh, have uh, make it available in uh, iPhone, Android, and yeah, all other platforms. Right? It's accessible for as long as you can download the Power Apps apps on your phone, then it's it's fine. You you're good to go. You can use that one unified application for all 
your devices, right? You can build highly customized tasks and rule-based Canvas app with data from one or multiple sources, right? And then you can generate Im immersive uh, model-driven apps starting from your data model and business processes. Let's say, for example, you have uh, business processes, logic business processes, along with your uh, data. You have data and business processes. You can generate that applications without having to learn anything about coding, right? Uh, as for Canvas app, you still, you, you can like implement some code to it to uh, extend the feature of your applications that you're building, right? But yeah, for model-driven apps, you can just generate uh, applications from it, right? And then as I said earlier, uh, you can consume fully accessible apps across web and mobile, embedded or standalone on any devices, right? You can just sync all of the changes in one place instead of uh, going into the code base and changing the compatibility of the apps that you are developing for that particular platform, right? You don't need to do that, right, for Power Apps. Okay, so this is what I have, uh, you know, I've talked earlier, right? It's to automate and integrate business processes with Power Automate. It doesn't have to be uh, business processes. You can basically do your daily life uh, tasks here, right? So let's say, for example, if you want to uh, save uh, an attachment from email to Google Drive or to uh, Microsoft OneDrive, right? You can do that without having to do anything, all right, on your email uh, client, right? You don't need to do that. You can configure um, your Microsoft Power Platform, uh, sorry, Microsoft Power Automate to automate those tasks for you, right? Uh, it can automate uh, model business processes across your apps and services. We have a few connectors. We have, <clears throat> um, I mean, if let's say if you want to uh, save your uh, attachments from email, we have a few email, email providers that are available um, in Microsoft Power Platform and connectors, right? So connectors is basically services uh, that uh, that participate in this automation processes in, in Microsoft Power Platform. It's not necessarily automation. It, it can be so many things. I mean, connectors can be so many things, right? Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, it can be uh, simple automations to advance scenarios with branches, loops, and more. You can, I mean, let's say, for example, if you need uh, documents to be uh, approved or not approved, like this scenario, right? You can basically like put uh, two different scenario, whether the documents got approved or not, right? And then what are the underlying things that goes after it got approved or not, <laughs> right? And then you can also trigger actions, uh, grant approvals and get notifications right where you work. Uh, and lastly, you can automate legacy on-prem and cloud-based application and services. This is uh, probably useful for people working on the industry. Right, so they can actually know. Uh, I mean, so that they actually they can actually like simplify some of the uh, manual processes around their workplaces. All right, so um, as I said earlier, Power BI is all about your data and data visualizations, right? Um, Power BI also includes uh, we call it AI, right? Artificial intelligence, right? If let's say for example, if we want to forecast your data. Um, you have, okay, think of this as, a, I mean, I, I can think of one use cases for this. Let's say, for example, if you have a sales record of that particular year and you, you have the three years of sales record um, and you want to know, you want to forecast your uh, sales record in the future, right? So you can you can basically do that, right? Probably I have the, the tools. Uh, to do that, right? So it can connect to all your data and get a consolidated view across your business through a single pane of glass, right? You don't need to learn how to code. You just need to, uh, you know, manipulate your data and put it, put your data into Power BI, and then it will generate a dashboard or probably a, a, a visualization uh, tools for you to basically, uh, you know, to, to make yourself, to, to make your project even easier, right? Yeah, so you can use Power BI for data analytics and data visualization in the first place. It also create an ad hoc analysis, live dashboards, as, as I said earlier, and interactive reports uh, that are easy to consume on the web and across mobile devices. And as I said, Microsoft, uh, the, the things that I said about Power Apps before, right? 
where you can sync uh, your application, where, where you can view your application across devices, right? So you can do that with uh, Power BI as well, right? In Power BI, you can download an applications or maybe you can download applications in 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 your pc you, you can you can basically view all of those uh, dashboards um, in real time right and then you can build smart apps by infusing insights from your data and drive actions with the power of microsoft Power platform right with all of the connectors and uh, data that you actually uh, consolidate as a solutions okay and the last one uh, for, I mean, the last component, it's not the last one. I don't have the slides for Power, Power Pages yet because it's recent, it's relatively, it's relatively a new uh, features that Microsoft added recently, right? But yeah, for Microsoft or Virtual Engine, you can basically create a chatbot with a few scenarios, with a few use cases um, from a templates that is given by Microsoft. Microsoft actually provided a template for us to customize um the chatbots right but yeah you as a student you can learn how to build uh, chatbots um from scratch right you can basically learn how how to create chatbot from templates as well that is uh that microsoft has given to you guys uh in the platform itself right uh, it enabled the virtual agent to act on the customer's behalf. Let's say, for example, if you don't want to use this uh, in a business case, right? You can use it um, to answer FAQs, right? F frequently asked questions uh, from your uh, fellow friends. And let's say, for example, if you want to create a study group and then you want to use chatbots because you want to, you don't want to repeat yourself, right? You can use this as well for your, uh, you know, student community or something, right? And then, uh, yeah, I think that's all to it to this uh, particular uh, technology, right? You, you can have a look at this uh, diagram that I have already included and see how easy it is to configure chatbots, right? People might say that, oh, okay, configuring chatbots is very hard because it needs to have more data and all, right? But you can you can customize your, you, you can customize the template that has been given by Microsoft. Uh, to build your own solutions, right? Especially for your student community. Okay. All right. So as I said earlier, uh, some of the components that complements uh, Microsoft Power Platform is Dataverse, right? So Dataverse is basically uh, a tools to jumpstart apps using a standardized data model with business logic, security, and integration built in, right? Uh, so as you can see in the diagram, uh, it can extend uh, to your own needs and uh, integrate across apps and services. Uh, I mean, it's basically available in all uh, Microsoft components, right? What are the what the, the things that you use in 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 the components that you want to use? It it's all available to use data dataverse, right? And then it provides seamless Dynamics 365, Office 365, and Azure integration augmented with data from industry partners, right? Okay, as I said earlier, all right, uh, some of the other components that complements Microsoft Power Platform is data connectors, right? So connectors are available for use in multiple products, right? So you can use uh, connectors in Power Automate, right? You can use connectors in Power Apps or Logic Apps, right? So, but but let's say, for example, if you don't have the correct data connectors that you want to use in your application, right? You can use custom connectors. You can build your own connectors, right? By using uh, probably API or probably you can use uh, a blank custom connector uh, from Microsoft Power Platform. So I believe that you can you can extend your um, the features of the apps of the or, or the automations that you want to create for the solution that you're working on uh, by using the custom connectors, right? Because it allows uh, flexibility uh, in your solutions, right? Okay, so um, in any solutions, we need data, right? So some of the data, uh, some of the data sources for Microsoft Power Platform can include uh, OneDrive, uh, SharePoints, or 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 you you can basically use uh, your own database, right? Uh, so there are two types of data sources, right? So the the first one would be tabular data, right? A tabular data source is one that returns data in structured table format, 
right? We have like a structured database for that, right? We have a few columns that describes what are the uh, what are the uh, what do you call it? What are the properties? What are the uh, characteristic of that particular data that we are collecting or the data that exists in the database itself, right? And then the second one would be the function-based data. A function-based data source is one that use, uses functions to interact with data sources, right? Um, yeah, I think uh, that's all to explain about this, right? If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, ask the question in the Q&A sessions later on, <laughs> right? And then, um, some of the components of a connector, I mean, as I say, some of the components of a connector is uh, trigger and actions, right? Uh, probably later on, Kapilan will show you uh, the hands-on on, on how to use connector, right? We have two types of connector, which is triggers, right? So tr uh, which is triggers and actions. So triggers actually, actually prompt a flow to begin, right? Let's say, for example, if uh, you want to uh, create an Sorry, uh, you want you, you have a, a, a Microsoft form to collect data uh, from your participant, right? And then you want the email to be sent uh, in in a few conditions. And let's say, for example, if there are hundred participants uh, that already registered in your in 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 the Microsoft form, right? So after the hundred people, after hundred registrants registered to your event, it will trigger this particular flow, right? So, so it is a condition-based uh, mechanism to trigger your automation, right? And then you can have actions, right? You can have uh, connectors as your actions as well, right? So actions are prompted by the user or a trigger uh, and allow interactions with your data source by some functions, right? It can be some other functions, it can be a button, right? So yeah, it depends on, on how you want to customize your solutions. It, it depends on how you want to develop your own solutions, right? So Capilan will, will, will definitely show this uh, later on in the demo sessions. I uh, will leave the explanations uh, to him. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to, to ask. All right, so uh, pulling it together, pulling it all together, Microsoft Power Platform helps to add value to any business by analyzing, acting, and automating. Right, so you gain a few advantages. You gain a few uh, what we call it productivities, right? When using Microsoft Power Platform, because you don't need to to do a repetitive tasks. You don't need to learn how to code. You you still need to learn the fundamentals of coding, basically, right? Uh, but yeah, you don't need to waste your time to like uh, you know uh, troubleshooting for errors. You don't need to look at the code bases uh, to develop your solutions right now. I can say that Power Platform is, is the future, right? Uh, and you can also like build powerful chatbots with uh, Power Virtual Agents. Let's say for example, if you have, uh, you know, business use for Power uh, Virtual Agents or any of these components, you can actually use it, right? It's like a plug and play situations, right? You can have a look at the template that is provided by Microsoft and then you can implement it right away. And it works. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I encourage you guys to have a look at these uh, topics more uh, in the future. OK, so some of uh, some other career opportunity with Microsoft. This is this uh, figure that I have listed down in the slide. It's uh, in the US, right? If, let's say, for example, if you have the chances or opportunity to work in the US, uh, I think it's it's basically a job uh, it's basically a standard, a standardized price for uh, the carrier prospect, right? So, yeah, Microsoft Power Platform itself, right? If you have uh, the Microsoft Power Platform skill uh, in your resume, right? It helps to add value to individuals, right? So you can basically demand some salary increase, or or uh, you can demand a salary for your entrance. Uh, entry level uh, employment or something like that. So these are some of the figures, right? For Power Platform developer, you have uh, you 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 can get paid up to uh, on average one hundred thirty one thousand six hundred seventy three. And yeah, that's not a small number, right? <laughs> you can basically like divide it by twelve and have a look at how you can gain monthly, right? Uh, 
for this particular role, right? So it really, really helps you um, to uh, gain a better career prospect in the first place, right? So yeah, I encourage you guys, I really, really encourage you guys, student, to have a look at Microsoft Power Platform and explore what you can uh, build with Microsoft Platform, Power Platform and showcase to your employer so that your employer can, you know, can be interested to hire, hire you more and pay you more in the future, right? Okay, so um, the, the things that I've already explained just now is part of the exam domain, PL900, right? I want to also promote you guys to take certifications with Microsoft. Right now, Microsoft has free opportunities for students to take free certifications, right? So if you want to start with Microsoft Power Platform, if you want to gain career prospect with Microsoft Power Platform, you need to learn how Microsoft Power Platform works, right? So um, this certifications, all right, is targeted to IT or non-IT professionals and students. If you are not an IT background, no worries, this is also for you. This certification is also for you. Um, I have experience taking this exam and it's relatively easy, right? So I encourage you guys to have a look at it and take the certifications, right? Because it's free right now. And don't be afraid to pursue the certifications if you're not comfortable with IT, right? Uh, and all of the links towards these resources is included uh, down in the slide, right? Okay, so this uh, is the price to take uh, the PL 900 certifications in Sri, Sri Lanka, it costs 55 US dollar, right? Uh, I'm not sure it's it, it, whether it's too much for you guys or is it too low for your standards. But yeah, in Malaysia, 55 dollar is like uh, 200 ringgit. Uh, it's nothing for students. Uh, but yeah, we can take it for free too, right? Uh, if you go to uh, this website, this link, right, I'll be uh, distributing these uh, slides later on uh, after the event ends, right? You can click on this link and go to the website, go to this website, right? So uh, you get to take all of these certifications for free. Hey, if let's say, for example, if you're interested in cloud, you can take AZ900. Or if you want to learn more about Microsoft 365, you can, um, you know, we can click on, on the start journey button and they will, uh, I mean, the, the website will uh, ask you to verify yourself as a student, right? So you will need to provide proof that you are still a student at your, at your university. And then after you got approved, uh, you, can get all of the resources here, right? You can take any of this certification for free. There is no limit for uh, towards these certifications. You can take all of it if you want, right? All right. So these are some of the resources that is being given by Microsoft to its, uh, to the students, right? Uh, you can basically have a look at the training videos, previous training videos, pre-recorded, uh, sorry, it's a recorded training videos, right? Or you can basically have a look, uh, you can basically like uh, have a look at the learning path that Microsoft has already give to you uh, at Microsoft Learn, right? Uh, I encourage you guys to go to Microsoft Learn and have a look at some of the things that you want to learn about Microsoft technologies and products and services, right? So, uh, but yeah, if you want to have a personalized uh, learning path towards that particular certification, so you can uh, click on this button and Microsoft, I mean, you will be redirected to Microsoft Lens with <coughs> proper resources, okay? And then after you completed uh, these sections, you can click on the self-attestation uh, checkbox. It's not a checkbox, it's a radio box. I, I don't know what this is, but you can click here and then you, you can progress to the next level, which is uh, you can get a preparation uh, resources for it, right? You, you, you will be given a measure up test code, test vouchers. So you, you can uh, you can basically test your knowledge on Microsoft uh, exam, right? Uh, this, this is basically a resources that has been given to students to help them uh, before, to help them prepare before they take the real one. Right, and after you answer at least twenty questions in the exam banks here, you will be given uh, a Microsoft uh, certification voucher, 
uh, at on your Microsoft Land profile, right? You don't, you don't. Uh, there, there will be no exam voucher here. You, uh, the 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 exam voucher will be assigned to you immediately after you have been verified uh, that you have already completed these two processes, right? Okay, so what to expect upon passing uh, PL900, sorry, PL900, you will get a certificate um, in Microsoft Learn, right? And then you can showcase your certificates to your future employer, right? And then you will get a badge in, in Credly, right? So for Microsoft, for Platform Fundamentals, you'll get this badge, right? Um, and this badge can be showcased to, uh, you know, to your future employer as well. OK, so uh, some other uh, career prospect, uh, sorry, some other uh, certifications that I want to, uh, you know, let you guys know is Power Platform Developer Associate and Power Platform Social Architect. If let's say, for example, if you want to further yourself uh, into Microsoft Power Platform and want to learn more about Microsoft Power Platform, uh, feel free to have a look at uh, this certification, right? Uh, and this is the certification journey, certific certification path for you to become uh, a power platform expert, right? Okay, so I guess uh, that's all from me. Uh, do you guys have any questions? I, I think you guys can ask Kapilat because he will be demonstrating more than, than I do. Uh, but yeah, hand over to you Kapilan. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity that you have given to me. Uh, to present myself uh, in this event. But yeah, hand over to you. Thank you so much. I will stop sharing my slides. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, share, uh, give a brief about uh, the platform and the certification and the, the MLSA program as well. So thank you so much for the time and uh, doing this presentation. So I just want to know the people who are still engaged with this. So I know this is the theory session. So I, I before I am going to show the magic. So magic. So how the the you you are normally traditionally you are developing a system is like a month a, a month is like a week, right? So here we are developing a system or app within a minute, right? So the sound is somebody is crazy, right? So somebody is, don't. What, what is this? So how this how is possible, right? So before going to that, uh, and uh, say hi about the chat. So how many people are engaged the session still, right? So I I curious to know about that. So please put a hi and uh, any message put a hi to the chat chat box. So I I would like to know the people, right? Come on, people, yeah. Hi, cool, cool, cool. It's coming up. Right, cool. So, so I am going to the demo. So, in the demo, you can see uh, the uh, in in this in this time. So, you are here about the platform, but is it right? So, we are now we are going to see how is it work in a real time. Some uh, use uh, real use cases, right? So, in a real time. So. Let's jump before that. I'm going to share my screen. So in here, uh, you can see me on my screen, right? So basically. Yeah, we can see it. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. OK. And uh, I, I'm uh, I'm not talking about the, the uh, theoretical things. I am just showing the, the what the thing I am going to do in next a uh, couple of minutes. The and uh, you know the Microsoft Power Platform is uh, having uh, some sort of a uh, services like a uh, kind of a uh, Power Apps. That's uh, you know a uh, uh, application. So to develop the application and the uh, Power Automation, we can use that to process the automation. That we can automate the process, right? The flow. Uh, we are now we are going to uh, look at the Power Apps and the Power Automation. Uh, not other other Power BI and the Power Virtual APIs. So here we are looking for the Power Apps and the Power Automations. We are uh, having a three demos for this Power Apps and the Power Automation. So we'll see how is it works. So before going to that, um, so we uh, before you you uh, Muhammad is taught you about the, the Power Apps and all the about just right. So. Uh, I'm not going to further more, right? I am going to just, if you need to build a Power App, so you have to the license, so Power Apps license. So basically the 
the power up license is all about if you are in the microsoft 365 or dynamic 365 you already subscribe with the power app so basically i will show you so in a students they are having a in a university mail if you have a university mail you already subscribe with the power apps uh, in, in in i i already confirmed with my app my application so i already have that one so basically you you already have that so basically the yeah so in here you can see the uh, obvious.com you can uh, go that one and you can see here the power apps power automations these are the uh, two we are going to uh, talk to you today right so uh, basically um, yeah okay so before going to that, you can click that one. So basically, you can uh, directly click that power apps, power uh, power apps, or else you can directly click go to the make dot power. Uh, you can see this in the slide. So the make dot power apps dot com. You can directly go that website. So yeah, the signing process is uh, much simple. Uh, you already know how. Uh, uh, you already know about the people the the signing process is uh, in the facebook like they are signing process your name and all the things like that that's a simple things for the signer so i'm not go through that part right now so i am going to directly to the power apps so after the signing you are you can get like this environment right so in this interface you can see the all the things right so you can hear the home and the, this is the environment so this is the environment is a is something is Mm, more important this environment so you can uh, make sure to the uh, environment what you are in so uh, wait, i will someone in the lobby yeah okay Good. right yeah uh, you can go through this environment later so uh before that uh here we are having the power apps right so in here, we have for some templates, right? So, create apps. First, I will go with the template. So, uh, after that, uh, we can also create the, um, uh, before you, we can using the template and without template, we can also create the power apps. So, in here, we have a, a bunch, of, bunch of templates are there. So uh, you can choose one of the template here. So uh, I choose this one. So I'll put the name as the test uh, test demo three, uh, no five. I put the test demo five. So uh, this is the template I am going to choose. So here you can see. So it's a it's getting ready so it's it, in a back end is uh, is building the application so uh it's stay a little time not much much time so stay a little so give a minute this little up yeah Mm. Okay, cool. It's coming up, right? So before that, you can see the preview, or else uh, skip, and we have a uh, another option to play, right? So here you can uh, preview that here as well. If you don't uh, do, do skip the previous in the before, you can see uh, click the button here to ca you can see the preview as well. So in here, so we. I will show you a demo. So first of all, so this is the app that you would like, the, the survey app. So uh, in in a mobile app, you can see like this, right? So you just get start and uh, the survey next, and that you can put the some something and something and the working hours. Is is there is kind of an application, right? So in the mobile, you can see me the application. That's that's the what that's what this. So, okay, I will type demo. So then, yeah, it's done. 
this is a basic simple application for the survey. So I, I just want to close, right? So here you can, you can know, right? So uh, uh, here we can edit all the things. So here we can see the screens, right? So in the first screen and the home screen. So then the landing screen and then just go to the full home screen. And then we can edit the content as well. So here I I will uh, I will put the test or uh, power apps. I put the power apps here, right? So employee engagement survey. So then student survey. Okay, uh, student engagement, student survey. Thanks. Okay, right. Uh, we can do anything, right? So here we can stay five minutes, so then four minutes, or something like that. So, and we can go with the template, right? So in a uh, draw, right? So in the next button. So whatever uh, the questions you can choose, right? So basically you can edit uh, in every single components, basically the every single element you can edit here. So it's, it's kind of a uh, application. So after that, you can go into serve. So here, I am going to save this application first of all. Yeah, it's all done. It's already saved my application from the cloud. So uh, in here, we can add the connectors. So basically the connectors is a connect, if you have a, basically simply how to say connectors. Connectors basically the, if you have the power, the power apps and the power automation. In using the power automation, you can, you power using the power automation, you can automate the flow, right? So the no any human interaction. So you can automate the power. So power, using the app, the application is a separate part, and the power automate is a separate part. So using that one, you can use the connectors. Connectors the data source. It's a it's a it's kind of a uh, place uh, some different roles from the different parts, right? So basically, the um, making your own app. I will show you in a demo. So basically, uh, the, we can use the local and then the cloud. So I am using the OneDrive business. So basically, the OneDrive business. And yeah, it's still building the application. Right, so give a minute. Still, okay, cool. This application is built, right? So in here, you can so okay, that one. Okay. I'm going to serve it and that right is working fine. Then this is the basic application. So uh, 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 you don't need to any spend any time. So when you're uh, what kind of a scenarios the this kind of the platform, this kind of a things is better. So when you're doing the um, prototyping, so basically the prototyping, right? So when you're doing the prototyping, you have to see a showcase how would be your system will be, right? So uh, you can showcase the sample demo with a creating a, it's a minute, right? So within a minute, you can create any application. So I will show you another one. So wait, I will. First of all, go back then. And then I go into this OneDrive. 
before opening the one drive i have to open the excel file so in here uh, one demo is a, is kind of a, a template we are using the template to create the application so it's a uh, student engagement survey or employee one so it's a learning management system or whatever we can use using the template there is a bunch of templates are there we can utilize that to build the uh, applications first and then second you can hear the excel file so basically if you are the system so basically the you have a um, organizations right so in organizations uh, you are maintaining the system your student details in a spreadsheet in the excel sheet right so in the excel sheet having the first name last name and the email address students who are you and all the things are in the excel sheet right so you are familiar with that so in the excel sheet so in here i i want the app to add the students filter students and figure it out the student this is the use case right so in a, we have the excel sheet to having the student details but uh, the, the the owner's requirement is that we want to build the application to uh, list the students and the filtering students and uh, see the student details rather than the uh, traditional excel view right so so that we have to choose we are in the power platform we have to choose the i'm going to back again so i will show this so going to again so in here this is a normal interface so in here you can click the excel so in excel I mean, this still loading is it's a little bit bit of lag of internet, I guess, right? So, yeah. It's, uh, so is yeah, right. So in here, uh, wait a minute. Right. Okay. Good. In here, I already put the data sheet. So in here, I already put the the, the participation participant. You already register for this event, right? So uh, I put your put that your uh, details. So in the data Excel sheet, I have the detail about the participation of this event. So basically, the the very important thing when you are importing the uh, the uh, adding the Mm, Excel sheet. You are make sure to you have the detail and about the, the detail in a table view. So that what uh, they can detect that one. So make sure that when you are connected in Excel sheet. So I click the connect, and it's the building right now. It's not an interface. It's, it's building in a backend with the data, right? So, you a minute. It's still right. Okay, cool. And I have to edit those things before I go into the edit those two colors. Yes, two colors. Right. Okay. The, here I can change the data, right? So when you're appearing, we can edit the data format, right? The 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 listing view, right? So basically, the here I want to choose the last name, and then I have to choose the first title. It's a uh, bottom to top approach. Basically, here is so title one and subtitle and the body. So I am choosing the first name here. So basically, this is the order, right? So in here you can see right so basically i am going to uh, play the button so basically i am going to university of rugunna so so best just rga gna so here we can filter out the uh, parts where who are applied for the uh, 
event. So basically, and also we can uh, uh, add this event, right? So basically, if you have, we want to add the participation detail. So the uh, we'll see how to order this event and how to edit this one. Before going to that, I will see the demo, how how it look like, right? So basically, I'm not going to take any coding about this uh, uh, app. So I just I just import the connector data source, the data con connector XLC, so and automatically will create the applications, right? So um, I just close it one, and then I just. Uh, uh, demo that one, right? So basically, then I will right, right. Then we have a screens. So in a detail screens, we have in a detail. So and then you have the screen one. We have the column name, right? So here the screen one, we are, uh, not the screen one. It's a detail screen. We have to choose. The detail, right? So basically, the in advance, not advance, is a edit field. So here we can choose, right? I don't want the any question format, right? So I I just want to remove that one. And I'm going to here to in in right. So in the university and then uh, completion time, I don't want to that. And then email address, I don't want to that. And uh, it's a first name. ID, I don't want to do that, and then last name, and then another name. Yeah, it's fine, right? First name, last name, and then a university name, right? So here, and also then uh, edit screen as well. So here, also, I don't want to this field. Right, so in edit field, so any question I don't want to get and any that college details. Uh, okay, requirement right now. We can edit that uh, request or not. The the things like right, right. So in the data type, basically the text view or, or things. You can customize whatever you want. Basically the the uh, things, right. So here I don't want to get this one, and uh, I just remove that one and then name i don't want to that so college name is the last lover's name last name and the college right so okay fine mm, then okay i will close this one and right so i i'm in a separate screen right so close the screen and then Detail screen and then edit screen, right? Okay. Browse screen. So I just play that one. So yeah, I just want to add the name. Kaplan, Sariki, Arin, Sikren, Mr. Rukuna, Rukuna. I just add the Rukuna. And it's automatically added, right? So uh, basically, the Ruguna. These are the Ruguna paper for here. It's my name, right? So, uh, 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 just now I added this one. So it's basically the creating app. Just imagine so you have the Excel sheet, but now we are having an app. So in the application, you can add the detail and you can filter out and then. Um, uh, see the detail about the persons, uh, the things, all the things you can see, right? So uh, here, so this is this is kind of a magic thing, right? So when you are uh, uh, when you are developing a, in a um, code, is I'm I'm sure about this. It take more than the week, right? So basically, if you are developing the system in a real environment is like a code and you, you're doing all the stuff and the testing and all the things right so hmm. but in here it's a minute right so that's the power of this application so you can utilize uh, more things right so this is just a demo this is just a one part of this one so you can utilize the things right so in here you have to add 
uh, the change the color and here the add button and there's a lot of buttons are there it's already pre uh, inbuilt functions all all the uh, buttons right so in here you can uh, select the tables and then you can add the colors of the application and uh, whatever the 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 um, student student details whatever the uh, you can utilize uh, the all the features every element is a customizable so you can utilize this one so in here the top, uh, sidebar you can see every element so when you're clicking that one you can see every element so if this is the editable mode in this editable mode you can click this uh, this arrow it's like a you can uh, is appearing like a editable mode right so if you want to do the action mode so it's like a for clicking the uh, this arrow key is want to do a like a actions right action when you are doing that one you can click the alt key and click the arrow key this is the action button so you don't need to go there in the uh, play button so in in a uh, preview mode right so you can utilize this as well from here so in, so in a bike and then you can add this one so i i just want to close right before rather than clicking the um, alt key you can't uh, customize you just appearing as a editable mode right not the actionable mode right so this is so far do you have any questions so before jumping to that uh, the automation stuff so that's the more interesting stuff so basically the the automation you are basically getting the email when you are registering the uh, event so that's the automate process so i i am not uh, sit here and type everyone email at this and and uh, i send the email so it's, it's the flow of automation so i am using this platform to utilize how to uh, the sending the uh, mail to you guys so uh, uh, before going to that part uh, do you have any questions so so no any question i guess so uh, right so i i go into that uh, um, uh, part right i'm going to the automation flow right so before that going to automation flow so in here you can see the application right so in here templates right okay so in before we are using the uh, template app right so in the template app we are you we are entering the data right the survey data right so you might be think where we can see that data so uh, when you are entering those data in a template app so in here is automatically uh, the, uh, the that's what we are connecting the app so you are uh, i hope you are remembering that part right so we are having the some button for here so i i clicked it and connect that one right so the, the the detail of that the survey the employment surveys are stored in here so basically there is a uh, power app so in a one drive so it, it basically having that uh, the the create automatically template so under the template you can see that uh, your uh, data for here right so so that okay then i am going to the power app so this is the one I I created for the sending the email to you guys, and right it's still loading. Yeah, cool. And uh, just click the edit button. So I will I will go through that uh, step by step in a next couple of minutes. So how we can create before I go into that I will show it. Of the 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 process so so I wait 
no, not this, this one. Right, sorry for that. Okay. So here, uh, here I can see the responses. So, so when you are getting the responses, it's automatically triggered and uh, send the email to you all guys. So basically the, um, this one is a fail, right? So in, in this fail, I got the, the someone is the misspelled with their email address. So on that point, the, the request is not sent, right? So basically other than that, all the uh, triggered are successfully triggered, right? And or the you can see the status. So uh, basically uh, the, the flow of automation. So uh, wait, I will the flow. So I just copied one, this one. So that, um, so going to the create button and, and here you can see a lot of connectors, right? So it's a template, it's a, uh, you can use a uh, schedule a uh, replay and the you can automate that process basically the uh, click the button to email to not and uh, that's a simple stuff right so saving a message on the uh, one one not uh, these are the some sort of a uh, automate flow you can use this flow to automate the process right so basically before that, I am going to create the uh, one form. So you might be aware about that. creating a form. Form. So here, new form. I test demo five. Sorry, five. Right. So I just add the uh, test name and then email. Right. Right. Okay. Okay, that's all. The form is serving, right? We served, right? Okay. So then, first you create a form. Then you have to go with the power automation. So in here, uh, we are having the call for the power power automate, right? So you can click that one, or, or else you can directly search the. Uh, uh, from the Google or that you can directly go there, right? Or else you can directly go there uh, uh, using this option, right? So then, okay, then go to the Power Platform and create the template or, or no template. We can uh, already have a template now. So here we have to the send an email response, right? So this is already having a template, okay? I am using that template to automate the process. So basically, it's still loading. So you can directly make.poweraudit.com. You can directly go there and and use it, right? So in here, you have to make sure to you are connected with the Microsoft form and then Microsoft Outlook. So that's a we are going to send the mail now. So you have to connect that one of the mail address and then form. And I just connect or else you can directly connect this one. So I I already connected. So I just need to create it. So in here, the, the, there is a condition also there. 
if you like to add the conditions, so if you are the anonymous anonymous person or you are sending the mail, so there's a condition, right? So if you like to add the condition, you feel free to do. If you're not, you you just having to send a response uh, uh, only for sending a response. You don't want to filter out your mail address or something like that. So in here, I just uh, uh, sending and anyone can respond. So basically the organization people, so that's what I can get the email address. So other than that, uh, I can, uh, this is the anonymous one. So uh, uh, I am allowing to the anyone can respond, right? So in that one, so I just, I don't want to that because everyone want to get the mail at the mail. So that what I just remove that one. So what I just drop this into the top before that condition so um here i i remove this one condition right so this is basic flow right so in here we have to select the form so we are getting the data from the form right so here we have to select the form i i am I put the name like the test demo file right so this is a uh, form name right so you can see here and i click that one form and here also, I have clicked that, getting a response detail from the test demo file. So here, I have to send the mail. So here, I just click them, uh, demo that one before going to the. So it's a two address. So here, I, I just at the dynamic one. So basically, that one, basically, the, the email address, uh, the, the two address, right? So the email address and then the right. So basically the uh, email address and the response who want the response, right? So basically the I, I am giving the mail to the person who are responding and and me as well, right? Basically, uh, basically don't need to put the for myself or who are creating this one, but I want to check whether the person who are filling or not uh, some somehow right so so that I I will get to update every time so or else you can here yeah, also having the option to click uh, setting uh, select the notification for each response so or else yeah as well I can put, right so wait uh, yeah okay so in the body is a A subject called test demo. Okay, and uh, you can choose the uh, the dynamic content, right? This is a dynamic content. So uh, basically, the name, email, address are uh, dynamic. So in here, so I am. Okay, that's it, right? So, uh, the, this is our flow, right? So, getting the uh, submission and the response, and then send the mail. This is this is when you are getting the fill the form. We can get the response, right? So, send. Sorry, save, and then after the the workflow is a success, right? So then. I I'm getting the preview mode, it's not the preview by then. Uh, sorry. So here uh in the so after the getting submitted so i already received my
Mr. Lori, in a minute. So here I will resend again. Wait, I will take my last one. Yeah, wait, I will set another one. It's basically the outlook. Yeah, this demo file. This is the process. We are getting the email in automatically. Yeah, we can, right? So, as you can see there. Yeah, test talking. So, we can get email, right? Uh, just in time. So, this is all about the automate process. And there's a lot of things are there, right? Basically, here, not there. Just yes. uh, go to the bag. You can check the flow of that one. So if you have any errors and the warning is highlighting here. Recent ticket is a success, right? So in here, and also the power app. So in here also. So in here, we, you can use the lane. So here, you can directly go with the learn dot, learn Microsoft.com. So basically, the, the thing is, you can learn each and every module for the process app, right? Uh, power application, power apps. So here, you're having your tutorials, and then you have a learning materials also there. You can learn uh, in a future for whether you want to know about the power app. So also, you can create the own flow as well. So in the my flow, you can see your flow, uh, what you have created. So here you can schedule the uh, replay and uh, automatically schedule the calendars and all the things you can do here uh, in an automated flow. Uh, that's all about my end. So if you have any questions, guys, you, you can feel free to ask. So before going to the quiz, so that's a um, important part of your um, excitement, right? So before going to that, uh, do you have any question? The things we taught you. Kabila. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Kabila. Uh, so I just uh, what you. Uh, um, Percentage is actually so. If I meet a highly end like uh, data science or data uh, AI based software or applications, what are the things we have to? Uh, is there any possibility to go for with the Power AI applications? So if, if there's any possibilities to do that. So uh, I didn't get the clearly. No, no. So uh, it... actually uh, nowadays we are handling the solar data, right? So yeah. for the data forecasting or predictions and uh, stuff for the business, even the uh, research side. And uh, so several researchers are also doing the data predictions and modeling techniques. So mm -hmm. the, how the Power app, Power AI apps are going to helpful for them, especially for the academic and uh, so for the researchers or the scientists and things. So yeah, how is going to help for them? Yeah, uh, basically, I am not using that much about application nowadays. I I just a beginner of this one, so I I am still learning. So maybe Muhammad, can you answer these questions? Maybe you can. Uh, I I didn't in 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 my experience, I didn't try the prediction part for the A model and then so on. So basically, they having the Power BI and the analytics tool is there. So. Uh, that part is maybe used to analytics and predict the data, and uh, this is how some kind of the analytics based one. 
So maybe Muhammad can you address that question? Yeah, all right, all right. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I also don't have much uh, prior experiences with uh, AI in uh, Power Apps, but I'm aware that we have that before, right? Uh, but yeah, if you can, if you want to learn more about uh, uh, the AI features in the Power Apps itself, you can have a look at uh, Microsoft Learn. I, I will uh, share you a link towards uh, that particular resources, or maybe Mr. Guhulan can answer that his uh, the MVP for <laughs> this, right? <laughs> for, for platform, right? Mm, yeah. Are you here? Yeah. Yeah, I am here. Actually, for the AI and predictions part, uh, we can use some custom connectors to connect your own application, or else you can use Power BI. There is a, uh, in Microsoft platform, there is another application called Power BI. You can take these uh, responses, or the data to Power BI, and you can make some data models to predict uh, those things. Or else you can use the Dataverse. There is another database called Dataverse. If you use that one, uh, you can make predictions and some AI models over there. That's interesting. Thank you. Thank you for your questions. And guys, if you have any questions, if you don't know uh, that question for me, if you don't know the any questions, I will forward them to who know that uh, person's right. So feel free to ask. So if you don't know that uh, the answer, I, I will redirect the person who know that question. So feel free to ask the questions. Uh, or, or later on, we will uh, chat with the email letter. So we will uh, send the answer for your email address if you don't know the answers right so guys feel free to ask any question you have before going to the quiz any more questions from the members of the floor uh, i think all are good right so yeah. we'll move on to the quiz part. So everyone waiting for that part, right? So yeah, they're 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 all very hungry for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so, right? So we'll go. You a minute, guys. Have you shared the screen, Kaplan? Yeah, I, I was going to share, right. All right. Yeah, I'm waiting for the response. So everyone know about the uh, hit. So basically, the uh, you just go to the website, the www.whohit.it. So a h w t you can type it, and then we are asking the campaign so you can type that one or else you can scan the QR code so basically you you are redirect to that this platform when you are scanning the QR code so uh, I'm waiting for the response so people are in the floor you just just scan that one and you can get excitement keep that uh, can, the, can, uh, can, can you can you copy the link to Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. This quiz. All right. Yeah, yeah. And paste it in the chat section. I guess most of them are hungry to go for lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think know, so. Right? <laughs> yeah, uh, we took. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think we are 
uh, we have like two price, right? For every 10 person who join this event, you will get one event incentive, right? So yeah, probably you, there are two, two to three prizes. Right? If you uh, answer it correctly, and your name is on top of the leaderboards, you will be chosen to get both, uh, either uh, one year LinkedIn premium subscriptions or um, three months of Xbox uh, Game Pass Ultimate subscriptions. So yeah, if you answer co correctly and fastly and make it to the top of the leaderboards, you will win those, right? So feel free to do your best and participate more in the quiz, all right? Yeah, Zohulan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she had a virtual lunch for you guys. Yeah, thank you so much. I haven't had lunch. <laughs> right. That's nice. Yeah. Do we have any music or something, Kapilan? Maybe it can hype yeah, them out. I, because... I have that, but uh, in, in a previously also I have, but uh, I don't sure about uh, my technical error or something like that. Yeah, yeah I only it's, plan. It's your... Yeah. Maybe it's your sharing settings on your uh, PC. Yeah, I think so. I be having some. Yeah. You have the music, so can you play any any some sort of music? I can because because you're the one who who shared this. Uh, oh, okay, screen. yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool. Wait, I will get the meeting set up. <laughs> Yeah, I am not familiar with the team so much, so uh, let's see. I see. That's 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 okay. That's fine. The settings. <laughs> Mr. Gohulan is is very hungry right now. He's even <laughs> posting the image or the picture of of his lunch. <laughs> in the chat section. <laughs> so. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven people out of yeah, yeah. Uh, twenty-two people, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Maybe so, we can give it another two more minutes. Two, three, two yeah, more minutes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We we we'll start start uh, twelve twelve. 12, 12, yeah. yeah. Nice waiting for the response. So please feel free to join that one. The, if you have any technical error, please let me know. Oh, you can directly scan the QR code. So this is a QR code. So you can directly scan, you are directly redirect to the platform. Yeah, the link towards the quiz is uh, basically included in the chat section. So please uh, participate uh, to win these prizes. So basically, after you uh, finish the quiz, please take a screenshot and send it me. Just make sure to identify the people. So somebody's, uh, I think the name is okay, but you cannot. I'm not sure about the identify the name, this name with the registration name. So please make sure to send the screenshot to me, right? Our uh, mail address. There will be eight questions, right, Kapilan? Yeah, yeah, it's eight, eight questions. All right, it's nice, it's nice. So, one more minute. Oh my. <laughs> Are you okay there, Kapilan? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, yeah. All right. Maybe we can we can start. Yeah, we can start. Yeah. Okay, guys, we are going to start. All right.
it's the it's the easy one here. Well, oh, wow. Three answers. Three correct answers. Congratulations. <laughs> and going on next. All right. Let's so we'll see, see the leader. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And next. Next questions. Any Excel as data size. Yeah, this is also a, an easy one. Yeah. Oh, there. Someone in the chat said that. Uh, please give more time. <laughs> <laughs> so th this is a the platform is basically the the we are calculating the time and then who was responding. So basically, try to respond as soon as possible, as soon as fast. Right. Yeah, there are two yeah. metrics that are measured here. Yeah, uh, yeah. You'll yeah. need to answer fast and you'll need to answer accurately, right? So the more yeah. questions that you answered correctly and fastly and promptly, uh, the more chances of you to win and make it to the top of the leaderboard. Definitely, yeah. I think most of them are uh, uh, listen this uh, session, I guess. They're getting the sponsors. Is <laughs> yeah. Right. So Hoshan. Oh, Hoshan is still. Uh, yeah, uh, still top. Yeah. Well, Kapilan, this is a very easy question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I thought they are in a beginner's level, so I have to give something like that. So more. Yeah, nice. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, good. Cool. Yeah. If you are carefully listening to the session, you can definitely answer all of the questions. You don't need to worry about that. You don't know about the platform as much as right. Just move on. All right. Oh, okay. So uh -huh. Hoshan got the throne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see who's the one. We have only the two, right? So prices. Good. And next, uh, so, so right, so next. Very easy question, guys. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Masum, all right, nice. Yes. This quiz is very competitive. Yeah, like I like the energy that they are emanating towards yes. answering this, right? Wow. How do you make the latest version of your app the one that users will see when they next launch the app? Oh wow, this is very easy. Kapilan is giving you free marks, free scores. <laughs> wow, so oh, only six people got it right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is and it the, the last question? Uh, one more, I guess. One more, right? Uh, what? Oh, I'm so nice. Okay. Which, when you build an app from a data source, which of the following is not one of the screen created? Oh, wow. 
seven answers. Wow. They're answering very fast. I mean, they're quite convinced yeah. with their answers, right? Yeah. Wow. Oh, my. <laughs> you okay? Uh, no worries. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> oh, only okay, one got it right. Yes, one. Oh, no. Other. There's some large countries or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And I think. But Mahsum is still so, the king. Yeah. yeah. This is the last one, guys. Try to answer as much as fast. So let's see. The to true or false question. Source. If the data source supports it, four apps can read and write to the data source. Is it true or is it false? Oh, wow. I mean, wow. They are quite confident with their answers. Wow. Oh, wow. Awesome. Everybody got it right. Who yeah. Hey, so, you guys. Uh, we did something uh, productive, right? So the the time. Let's see <laughs> who's the win. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So who's the winner? Who's the top three winners? Yeah. Oh, the th the third um place goes to Hoshan. Second one goes to Oshara. The first one goes to Masum. Right? Wow! Yeah. Congratulations! Congratulations to all these winners. Right, so you guys uh, feel free to reach out to Kapilan uh, to redeem your prizes later on. Um, and yeah. And yeah. if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask us um, anything. <laughs> so, and also guys, I'll share the um, uh, feedback form in the chat box. So you can scan it here. So I will wait, I will share the yeah, feel free to, uh, I mean, please uh, in, please fill in the feedback form uh, so we can generate the certificates uh, and send it to you guys later on. Uh, please make sure you do not commit typos uh, in your email address or your names because any changes will not be entertained. All right. Uh, we will open the feedback form for uh, about 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes yeah. uh, and after that 15 minutes period windows, we will close uh, the feedback form and you will not be able to uh, fill in uh, your responses uh, after that, All right? Okay, so Oshada yeah. said, how can we got, how can we get our gift? Okay, so if you want to get your prizes, feel free to go uh, to reach out to Kapilan because he's the one who will claim um, the, the event incentive, right? And he will uh, forward the voucher code or, or activation link uh, to your email address. So the prize will be sent uh, to you within uh, 10 to 15 business days, right? So uh, please give, it, give us some time uh, to provide the activation link. Uh, usually it will take lesser than that, uh, but yeah, it, uh, I mean, please just wait, just in case. <laughs> Right, so Kapilan has shared uh, the event feedback form, all right, and his uh, numbers, his personal contact numbers. You can contact him if, let's say, for example, if you have any questions with the nominations processes, with the Microsoft List Ambassador programs, or um, you guys want to uh, claim your prizes um, for this event, right? Okay, so feel free to complete the form. Feel free to fill in the form to for us to generate the certificates for you. Uh, and yeah, I know you guys are not, uh, you guys want to go to lunch later on. I mean, after this, right? Uh, but yeah, feel free to, to, to complete this first before leaving the event, all right? Uh, thank you so much for attending this event. Thank you so much, Kapilan, for organizing this event. I really, really appreciate you inviting me, and I love working with you for this month, uh, for this past month. Um, I would also like to uh, congratulate the winners that have won the prizes just now. You guys can either claim uh, one year LinkedIn Premium subscriptions or um, or Xbox pa Xbox Game Pass. Uh, ultimate subscriptions, right? And I also want to, uh, you know, uh, thank you guys, the attendees, uh, for coming into the event, for spending some of your time, two hours of your time, two hours and 37 minutes of your time to listen to us mumbling about Power Platform, right? I surely, should, I really, really hope you guys would explore more with Power Platform, 
I really, really love um, the energy that you guys uh, contributed to this event. And thank you so much, Mr. Goholan, for, uh, you know, for answering some of the questions just now. If you have any questions relating to Microsoft Power Platform, you can go to Mr. Goholan. You can ask Mr. Go uh, Goholan uh, about Microsoft Power Platform because he's an MVP. He is the expert. <laughs> he's more expert than us. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for... Uh, your undivided attention um, to this event. Kapilan, do you have anything to say? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, first of all, I thank you for you. So uh, you are giving the time and uh, giving me support. To I, 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 in in the morning also, I just uh, suddenly have a uh, scheduled the meeting and we are discussing something, right? So uh, you are helping for uh, such time. So uh, we had uh, uh, for kind of a meeting for so far. So we have to. Uh, the the hours and you are spending with me that's a really good things and I I I I learned some of the things you in from you so the 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 appearing the the communication and all the things so that that's uh, uh the really nice things and we will uh, for working in the future as well I uh, hoping to so and uh, uh, because the, I didn't expect you are in uh, be in this meeting as a in. So this is a well, such a pleasure for me. You are in the MBB, so and you are in the consulting for the Oracle, uh, the company, the the, the fan. So so I am very happy to that. So being in the uh, until the end. So this is our pleasure, and then participations, the participants, so who are in. Uh, we are already planned to the one and a half hour, so it, it, it might be take a little far from that. So uh, it's okay, it's, it's happening. So uh, I, I, we are happy for we, you are uh, get something about the, the session. So somewhat you are getting something, right? So I, I can see the uh, uh, your um, uh, level of the uh, uh, getting things right. So in the quiz, so. Uh, I, 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 that's a really awesome things, right? So, uh, thank you for uh, to joining today, guys, and uh, really thank you for all of them uh, to participate in this event. So, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> all right. So, I think no, uh, no, that's. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, I say thank you for uh, joining Mohammad and Srikar and, and making this even joyful. And I don't want to waste your time because I know everyone is very hungry and uh, <laughs> blaming us. So in the last, <laughs> I would like to invite you all for register for the Imagine Cup 2023. I will share the yeah. link in the yeah. chat description. You can go ahead. Thank you, Kapilan, and thank you everyone for the opportunity and special thanks to Mohammed as well. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Th thank you, Gulai. Thank you. Th thank you for the sharing the Imagine Cup data. So that, that's a great thing. Thank you for this. Yeah, yeah I will share will, in the group as well. Yeah, yeah, and and I will be serving as a mentor to uh, I mean, in this Imagine Cup. So if anyone needs any help um, or or needs any mentorship uh, opportunity, I can definitely be one of your mentors. Uh, so yeah, feel free to reach me out if you have any projects or any ideas or you need something escalated um, in in Microsoft Imagine Cup. All right, so thank you so much for your time. Um, I appreciate I hope you learned something today. Bye-bye. Uh, Have a nice lunch. Bye. <laughs> See you guys. All right. You. So bye, guys. Bye. Have a nice day. Uh, Kapilain, uh, maybe we can do a post-mortem next week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, if you need anything from me, uh, please uh, feel free to reach out to me and I am happy to to accommodate. Sure, sure, definitely. I will reach out as soon as possible, yeah. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, have a nice lunch. Bye, have a nice lunch.